Hey folks, it's Gikoskia here, and welcome back to Let's Play Betrayal at Krondor. When last we left off, we were in the village of Darkmoor. Malik's Cross is to be east, but we're not going to be going east. In fact, we're going to be going all the way back to here. Why? Because someone told me that there is something we can do there now that the plot has progressed. So, let us head back to the road, and let us go all the way back to Krondor. Again! The road led west. Krondor's another four days from here by my guess, James said, thinking aloud. Anyone think of a good reason not to go this way? Ooh, that's very interesting. Yes is no, and no is yes here for the purposes of progressing. So we're going to select no. The trip was dull. With only the occasional cold draft to chill their bones as they moved through the pass, it was a relief to finally feel the more temperate winds typical to the southern coastal reaches of the kingdom. Which brings us back to here, and zoom! Because there's really not a lot for us to do apart from zoom. We're just going to zoom a lot until we get to... Now there's one turning in particular. Also, we can just do this when it's dark, it doesn't matter. Now, are we there yet? We're probably getting close. We want to get to Quester's View, and then head north. So off we go. And we need to rest. And rest we shall. We'll rest till about here, why not? And zoom! And there it is. We turn here, head north, and carry on down here. You can make some really, really good headway if you are just focusing on travelling down the roads. You really can. So, rest a bit more. We're down to 11 days worth of rations, and we are looking for a church. And I think we've completely gone the wrong way. And we have. We're in Egley. So, let's go this way instead. And when we get to the turning in the road, we want to go north. There we go. Wasn't that much of a diversion. And a little bit more travel. <coughs> and here is where we want to be. This temple right here. Incense swirled. Striding between the columns of a temple, James made for the heavy wooden doors which had been sealed against the daylight and which preserved the privacy of any ceremonies in progress. Pulling the tasseled rope which hung next to the door, he awaited the response of the door warden. And we need to have a conversation with the person who runs this temple. A messenger went to find the high priestess. In a few moments, a tall, proud-looking woman limped from under one of the arches. Her long grey hair hanging lank around her face as a plump woman trundled at her side for support. When James hailed her, the shorter woman wheeled angrily. The high priestess has been through a terrible ceremony, she snapped. She has no time for Belandra. The high priestess jerked her arm from her assistant's grasp, silencing her with a cold stare. I am neither so old nor so ill in the goddess's favor that I cannot spare a moment to speak with these gentlemen. If you were to remember the spirit of our catechisms more often than their letter, I think you might replace me someday. Our place is in service to both the, Unth the Earth Mother and those who worship her. Remember. James bowed his head. That is very gracious of you, High Priestess, but if another time would be more convenient. The woman chuckled darkly. <laughs> Speak, noble one. Sensing that brevity was in his best interest, he quickly related the things Devon had told him during their visit to the stranger tavern in Egley. When at last he had finished, a grave expression was on the High Priestess's face. There is no curse upon the town, whatever this man Devon may have told you, she said. But we share fault in this. The ritual of the festival never was intended like this, and now it has brought shame on this temple and misery upon our faithful in Egley. Never more shall there be a festival, Belandra gasped. High Priestess, the festival! Silence, child, she said, turning her glare on James. I will also see this collector brought to justice. If you can find him, send him to us with word that we have a reward to give him. I will see you very well remunerated for your efforts. Goddess blessing to you. Turning, the High Priestess moved across the courtyard, followed quickly after by her plump assistant. We have a side quest! We are off to Tanner's. 
And we know where Tanners is. Tanners is down here. So, let us, uh... Double check where we need to make our turning. We need to literally turn off right here and head east. But first, we'll rest until dawn. Might as well. That way we can actually see. I believe it is Eggly first and then Tanners. Yeah, Eggly first, then Tanners. It's going to be a bit of a... Uh, a journey, but I've been... Oh, there's me smashing into a sign. I believe it will be worth it. So we need to head east and southeast. This will bring us... This, I believe, is uh, a place close to Eggly. Yep, there's Eggly. <coughs> and we're going to zoom past that. And there's Eggly. And it's dark. Rest a bit more. We're down to nine rations. And is this Tanner's? No. Oh, we have actually passed Tanner's. Whoops. I'm going a little too far. Here it is. Here's Tanner's. Actually, there is the uh, farmer. And Tanner's is... Oh, no. Tanner's is actually a bit south. I think Tanner's is south. I don't think we've actually got to Tanner's yet. I think Tanner's is... Yep, Tanner's is here. Okay, Tanner's is here. And the store is here too. I forgot what this place has. Not a lot I'm really interested in. Okay, that's fine. The tavern, however... I think you're the person? Are you the person I want to speak to? They joined the shifty-eyed man. No, no, you? The table was cleaned for them. Sitting down, no, no. Where is the person I want to talk to? J James strained to hear. Standing near the entrance, bits of conversation coming from a table nearby were occasionally managing to fight their way through the other noises in the tavern. Fools from Eggly, he heard. Then another man said in a hushed voice, he was looking for Stellan, something about unpaid debts, but... The voices dipped back beneath the surface of noise, and James could hear no more. Okay. I'm looking for... someone. Uh, no. Where is this person? Not you, it's not you. I mean, we could just buy food here. I can't check, like, the back rooms. Ah! A sleepy man pushed them aside. Blinking, but unable to get one eye to completely open, the man stumbled to a bedroll in the corner of the room and laid down. Are you the man known as the Collector? asked James. He sat up grumpily and finally managed to get both eyes open. Responded, What if I am? It would appear you have a debt that hasn't been paid to you by an acolyte at the Temple of Silburn. We just thought you should know. A glimmer of greed appeared in the man's eyes. Suddenly more awake now, he said in a somewhat cheerful voice, Thank you. I shall pay him a visit on the morrow. Perfect. We don't want to stay here. We want to leave. And make our way back to the temple. Because we need to get our reward. There's no reward for the collector. There's a punishment that's going to be met out to the collector. We're the ones getting a reward. Also, we're the ones running out of uh, rations, lowly. It'll be worth it, though. It'll be absolutely worth it, uh, hopefully, doing all of this. It is quite a side quest. You'd have to think to go to that temple in Chapter 2 to do it, because I don't even think you can do this in Chapter 1. Maybe you can do this in Chapter 1. I don't know. I don't know a lot about this game. Okay, we need to head... Alright, that way leads... Okay, we're about to pass where we need to go. We need to head north here. Following the uh, path with the auto-follow thing does have its drawbacks. And temple? Well, I can't see it, but uh, there is the temple. 
The temple doors were barred. Stepping away, James shrugged his shoulders. I suppose even priests require sleep from time to time, he said. We may have to wait until morning before we can get an audience with anyone. Okay. We will rest then. We're down to seven rations. We can buy more. Now let's have a conversation. A messenger went to find the high priestess. In a few moments she appeared, her grey hair floating behind her as she greeted her guests. On behalf of the Earth, Mother, we thank you, she said. The man who called himself the Collector is now in our custody. What will become of him? James asked. He will learn what it means to anger a goddess, she replied. After, if he lives, we will see he is rehabilitated. James shivered as he contemplated the future that likely lay ahead for the criminal. In the few instances he had seen a convicted heretic punished, he had been forced to avert his eyes. Hesitantly, he cleared his throat. I, I believe there was mention of a reward? The priestess nodded. I've arranged for a few healing potions to be given to you, as well as a small sum of gold. You will have them before you leave the temple. I must leave you now to begin dispensing justice on this collector. Goddess blessing on you. Okay, so what do we get? That's... that's healing potions. We got some healing potions. We have a lot of healing... Did we just get a stack of 24 healing potions each? Or have we got absolute... We have loads of healing potions! We are literally drowning in them! We are literally drowning in healing potions. Which is good, because you never not want healing potions. They will be useful, especially considering the fact that you can use them during combat. Right, we want to head east now. East and all the way down. Are we still heading south? Uh, yep, pretty sure we're still heading south. And we need rest, which is fine. We can rest. Where are we now? A tiny bit of travel, and we are... Almost to Krondor, which is good, because we really need to get to Krondor. We really, really need to get to Krondor right now. I might actually sell some of these restoratives, because um, we're a bit full on them. We really, truly are. I never thought I'd be selling healing items, but uh, there we go. And we're back in Krondor. Who saw this coming? I did. Right, let's... Uh, Buy some rations, because we're going to need these. And we saved a bit of money. It's fine. We'll share them with the party. Which means we have 12, 10, and I need a bit more, actually. Seven more? Let's get seven more. Also, I think we got, like, a hundred sovereigns for that. Which is fine. So, 14, 14, 14. Okay. We should sell a few things. Probably. Because, um, inventory's a bit full of everything. Have I been using this? You can't even buy it anyway. Um, could sell that. You have no use for it. Hmm. Inventory is just so full of everything. Um, you won't even buy that. The other store might buy these, though. The other store might buy them. No, you wouldn't even buy that. You will buy this, though. It's literally the only thing I can uh, get you to buy. That is 30 and 11. We don't need any more whetstones, so please sell that whetstone. I don't need it. I really don't need it. Uh, that's. I'm going to keep that. Uh, everything else I'm gonna... I should be using this as well. Let's use this when we next get a crossbow. That's not the one I just sold. Will you buy the book? No, you won't buy the book. The other place would probably buy the book. Okay. So... We can I actually sell the restoratives? I really don't want to sell restoratives. They, they seem really valuable. Okay, you won't even buy them. Okay, you won't buy them. So, I can't sell them, even if I wanted to. It's dark, we're gonna rest. And we can distribute some of these rations, like one, 
and one. And to be honest, I'm just putting this on the floor so I have one more bit of space. My our inventory. My our inventory. Right, we are heading east. East out of Krondor. Northeast and east, which will... We're heading the wrong way. Of course we're heading the wrong way. We, we actually wanted to head southeast, didn't we? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. We wanted to go... I'm going to pick this ration back up. I don't know what I was thinking, taking it uh, and putting it uh, on the floor. We want to head this way. Malik's Cross and Sethanon. And though it says four days, doesn't doesn't consume anything. Doesn't consume any uh, resources at all. So this is Darkmoor. Right. We've made it back to Darkmoor. And we've also made it to a place that is dark. W which happens to be here. Because it's night. But not anymore. Right. Let us look around here. We actually have some progress that we can start making. I know! Progress? Us? Doing that? More peculiar than you think, and yet it happens. Okay, that tells me people have been hanging around this area. There's a dirt path leading off that way. I'm gonna head south here and look for stuff. Is there anything back here? No, just emptiness. Just emptiness. Worth checking, though. Just in case. Always worth checking. Right. And that path... There's a path here that... Ooh, we're very close to Malik's Cross. Which is good. I, I, I like being close to towns. James Cho- Oh dear. Well, we've succumbed to an ambush. Oh boy! Nighthawks. There are lots of these here. There are lots of Nighthawks here. Well, we might be using some of those healing items in a moment. Um, the have at thee? Ha-ha! Uh, deal with that one, please. Okay, take that one out in a single hit. That's good. Ha-ha! That was worth a go. You're not... Oh, oh, oh. No. You don't get to run. You could try. But you don't get to run. Alright, you're actually gonna run. Okay, fine. You wanna flee? That is... That is fine. It, it's not fine. You do get to get some melee hits in, though, with Owen. And off that Nighthawk flees. He's out of there. Okay, Owen is doing better at hitting than you are, James. Owen is the wizard. But you finally gotta hit him. Finally. Oh, you're trying to run. Uh, not gonna let you do that. Not gonna let you do that at all. No. Oh, oh. Oh, absolutely not. Also, stealth and... Oh, health and stamina, rather, went up while we were doing our little diversion. 66 health now! And a huge pile of stuff right outside Malik's Cross. What do we have? A key? Oh. Silverthorn anti Oh, this is going to be important. Purple globes fanned out from a delicately spun central vein of glass, each small grape-like bulb containing enough antivenom to neutralize a double amount of silverthorn. Thanks to a formula created by Father Nathan of Crondor years previously, the antivenom had saved the lives of many who had smeared it on their armor before confronting Mordhell raiders or consumed it to heal themselves of the effects of silverthorn. That's useful. Nineteen sovereigns is also useful. That is also useful. That is a sword. Obvious statement is obvious. But it's good. Uh, can you... Ooh, you actually can't carry anything right now. You carry that. So that Owen can carry the sword. Also armor. Because, of course, armor. 
90% armor craft, by the way. 90%. It's getting to silly points, and I like the fact that it's getting to a silly point already. Okay. Good. Torch. I'm gonna be honest. You can keep that. You can keep that torch, because uh, it's one solitary torch. 99%. Can't wait until we get to 100% with these. Can't wait till we get to 100%. Uh, that's all pretty uh, high quality. I don't think I need to do anything with that. Um, right. Let us switch to armor crafting. And fix this up. 95%. And a dragon stone. I suppose I can take it? I suppose? What do you have? A tuning fork. James struck the metallic device against his knee, cringing as it sang its high-pitched tone. I always dread it when the jonglers tune their instruments, he said, killing the still ringing tone. It's that pitch. If my hearing were any more sensitive, I'd think I'd bleed from the ears. That is a oddly specific description. That is a very oddly specific description. So specific that I think... It's, um... Oh, those are poisoned. Uh, they can go back. But, uh, I think they're going to be very useful. I think that's going to be very useful. Also, crossbow. This is a medium crossbow. What's on the other body? That's the torch. Okay, that's the torch body. That body's now empty. There's another body. Aha! Oh boy! More restoratives! What is this? Goblin sticker! More than just a peasant's weapon, the goblin sticker was made to be wielded by hearty men accustomed to heavier blades. Numerous hammer marks were visible in the iron guard, evidence the weapon had likely been forged with only a few hours' notice before a goblin raid over kingdom borders. Ooh! That's actually really good. Also a key. We're going to take Goblin Sticker. I mean, it's not as good as the weapon we've currently got. 10 plus skill, 0 plus skill. Yeah, it's not as good as what we're currently using, but... We could certainly sell it. We could certainly sell Goblin Sticker. Also, it now has 98% durability. Because of course it does. And so, when we come back, folks, we are going to go to Malik's Cross. We're going to sell things, hopefully, there. And then we're going to come back out, get more stuff to sell, and then we are going to go and explore the settlement. It's one of the uh, places where you have to uh, click about a screen rather than walk around houses in a 3D view. So, hopefully, there's something hidden there, too. I wouldn't mind that. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.